Okay, so this is the second in my series of videos that I'm doing uh, to try and explain workarounds uh, for business decisions that Apple has made that I consider less than wise. Um, in, the, in terms of GarageBand, uh, they apparently decided that they wanted to uh, compete with Pro Tools by creating uh, Logic Pro, which is apparently a higher-end version of GarageBand. And whereas in the earlier versions, uh, the earlier era of GarageBand, you had uh, jam packs that were distributed by DVD discs that you could buy um, that would expand upon the possibilities of GarageBand. You know, you you'd get like all kinds of added instruments and loops in terms of uh, percussion or um, uh, symphonic instruments. And so <clears throat> I recently set out uh, in the era of uh, um, Lion to figure out what the modern era version of that was, uh, because obviously I never saw any jam-packed discs anymore at Apple stores. And I had assumed that there were, that you could just download those. But everybody I talked to had a slightly different story. Every Genius Bar person, every uh, person at, at, that you'd run into just wandering around in the Apple store that worked there, um, <clears throat> they'd look stuff up. It was, you know, it, it, it seemed surprisingly um, helter-skelter in terms of uh, the story. Nobody seemed to have the big picture story. And then I uh, finally, you know, pieced things together uh, and you could kind of read between the lines. I found out about Logic and the fact that they were apparently, basically, if you weren't happy with the features, the the, uh, um, the features as presented with GarageBand, then the theory was that you needed to move over to to uh, Logic Pro. Um, but if you already had those jam pack discs, or you know, a friend of them gave them to you or you didn't want to learn Logic Pro, you already understood uh, GarageBand pretty well, you were basi basically just kind of uh, uh, SOL. Um, so then I started doing a little bit of further researching, and I found a lot of um, <coughs> community uh, 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 you know, board postings, and I found that uh, even if you had those Jampack discs, they wouldn't install under uh, Lion because they were uh, the the install code was PowerPC based, so it, it really wouldn't work. Uh, so then I found some uh, uh, postings that indicated you know ways that you could kind of work around that, and that is as follows. So this is actually a uh, Symphony um, <clears throat> uh, jam pack disc. There are two of them. There's two DVD discs. And so, and I even went into an Apple store and, and ran past some stuff that I had found online as to how to do this, and, and the Genius Bar guys didn't know about it, but they kind of uh, thought, yeah, that, that sort of makes sense. Why don't we go ahead and try this? So I did. Uh, so basically, if you install, if you insert this disc, you get what you're seeing right here. Um, now, if you just try and double click on that, it will, and try and do this install, all hell will break loose and there'll be like a million errors. Um, so you need to kind of get below the level of the, um, <clears throat> the uh, PowerPC based install. So how you can do that is you hit, uh, you know, once you've got this uh, disc opened like that and you're seeing what's on it, you hold down control, you click, and then you're seeing the following here. And what you want to do is do show original. That's going to show you, <clears throat> if it ever opens, it's accessing this. So there's a certain amount of artistry to this. It's not not all um, <clears throat> uh, totally uh, recipe oriented. So you look at this. You know they may differ somewhat from uh, jam pack disc to jam pack disc, but you see a lot of stuff here, and one of them will be um, uh, instruments right here. So that is a package. So you can double click on that, and it will install it there. 
Um, <clears throat> so that's just installing the instruments. The rest of that stuff I'm not going to worry about. You know, the demo songs and whatnot. And uh, uh, this, uh, I, I think this is also part of the PowerPC install here, this uh, install jam pack. But what's important is the actual data files, you know, so one of these is the, uh, the, um, the instruments. So if I were to double click on this, I'm not going to do it now because it would uh, take, you know, about like 15 minutes to install it. It's, it's over a gig. Um, then it would install that stuff. So then, <clears throat> what you want to do is, <clears throat> hold on just a second, I'm going to uh, eject this disk and put in the second one. <clears throat> and what you might want to do before you do any of this is to launch GarageBand and see how many... Uh, loops you have in, in a given uh, realm, say like percussion or, or uh, uh, symphonic stuff. So you have some verification when it, uh, that it actually achieved what you were hoping to have it achieve. Um, <clears throat> so, hold on just a second. <clears throat> Now I'm going to install this other disk. Uh, well, I'm going to load this other disk. Um, okay. So this is disk two of um, the Symphony Jam Pack. So again, uh, here we have what comes up there. If you tried to double click on that, it wouldn't work because it's power PC based. But if I hold down control and go like that and say show original, <clears throat> then we will get the following. Hopefully. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, and here is uh, jam pack for loops dot package. So that, again, is a package of loops. So we've already installed the, uh, the instruments. Now if we double click on that, that's going to install the, uh, the loops themselves. And, uh, and of course you would want to do all this without GarageBand uh, being launched. You would want to quit out of that before you would do this. Uh, so, and then, you know, and I previously tried uh, what I've just described with uh, a percussion jam pack, two DVDs for the percussion jam pack, and it did seem to work. I'm running, uh, um, hold on just a second, let me confirm what I'm running. Um, <clears throat> Oops. Uh, ten point seven point four. So that's uh, that's about everything. Uh, good luck to you, and uh, I hope it works. Bye.